హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఈరోజు మనం ఫ్లూయిడ్ మెకానిక్స్కి సంబంధించి ఫ్లో ఫ్లూయిడ్స్ అనే టాపిక్ని చూద్దాం ఎవరన్నా మా ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ చూడనట్లయితే డిస్క్రిప్షన్లో లింక్ ఉంటుంది వీళ్ళు చూసేయండి ఫ్లో ఫ్లూయిడ్స్ని ఏ విధంగా డిఫైన్ చేస్తామంటే ద స్టడీ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లూయిడ్స్ ఇన్ మోషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ క్లాసిఫైడ్ ఇన్ టు టూ పార్ట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ కైనమాటిక్స్ అండ్ ద సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ డైనమిక్స్ ఇన్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ కైనమాటిక్స్ we did not consider the pressure forces in fluid dynamics we considered the pressure forces okay ee roju class lo manam fluid kinematics sambandhinchi chuddam appsc ki sambandhinchi fluid kinematics ki syllabus endante type of flow in that uniform and non uniform flow streamline and turbulent flow Study and Unstudy Flow. It is under Fluid Kinematics. First we know what is meant by Fluid Kinematics. It is defined as branch of science which deals with the motion of particles without considering the forces causing the motion. In simple words, it is the study of fluid in motion without considering the pressure forces. ఫ్లూయిడ్ మోషన్ని డిస్క్రైబ్ చేసేదానికి మనకి మెథడ్స్ ఉన్నాయి అవి ఏంటి అంటే మెయిన్లీ టూ మెథడ్స్లో మనం ఫ్లూయిడ్ మోషన్ని డిస్క్రైబ్ చేస్తాం ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఈజ్ లెగ్రేంజియన్ మెథడ్ అండ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈజ్ యులేరియన్ మెథడ్ లెగ్రేంజియన్ మెథడ్లో మనము సింగిల్ ఫ్లూయిడ్ పార్టికల్ని కన్సిడర్ చేసి డూరింగ్ ఇట్స్ మోషన్ ఆ సింగిల్ పార్టికల్ని మనం దాని మోషన్ పీరియడ్ అంతా దాన్నే ఫాలో అయ్యి వెలాసిటీ యాక్సలరేషన్ అండ్ డెన్సిటీని మనం డిస్క్రైబ్ చేస్తాం దాన్ని లెంగ్రేంజియన్ మెథడ్ అంటాం ఇంకొక మెథడ్ ఏంటి యులేరియన్ మెథడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ ఆల్సో వీ డిస్క్రైబ్ వెలాసిటీ యాక్సలరేషన్ ప్రెషర్ అండ్ డెన్సిటీ డిస్క్రైబ్డ్ అట్ ఏ పాయింట్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్లో ఫీల్డ్ అక్కడ ఒక పార్టికల్ని లెగ్నేజియన్ మెథడ్లో ఒక ఫ్లూయిడ్ పార్టికల్ని తీసుకొని త్రూఅవుట్ ఇట్స్ మోషన్ పీరియడ్లో మనం దాని వెలాసిటీ యాక్సలరేషన్ డెన్సిటీ అనేటివి డిస్క్రైబ్ చేస్తాం ఇన్ యులేరియన్ మెథడ్లో ఏం చేస్తామంటే ఒక పాయింట్ ఫ్లో ఫీల్డ్లో ఒక పాయింట్ కన్సిడర్ చేసి ఆ పాయింట్కి సంబంధించి వెలాసిటీ యాక్సలరేషన్ ప్రెషర్ డెన్సిటీ అనేటివి మనం డిస్క్రైబ్ చేస్తాం ఫర్ అవర్ బెటర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ వీ కెన్ సి లెంగ్రేంజియన్ మెథడ్ అండ్ యులేరియన్ మెథడ్ ఇన్ పిక్టోరియల్ ఫామ్ లెట్స్ సే దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫ్లో ఫీల్డ్ లెట్స్ సే దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫ్లో ఫీల్డ్ ఫ్లో ఫీల్డ్ I consider a single fluid particle here and I follow during its motion period and I follow this particle in its motion period and I, and I describe velocity acceleration density for this particle That's, that method is called as Langrangian method. let's say i consider a point in the flow field this is a point i consider in the at in that point i describe velocity acceleration pressure density that is called as eulerian method i hope it is clear next fluid flow ni ye vidhanga classify chesarante study and unstudy flows uniform and non uniform flows laminar and turbulent flows compressible and incompressible flows rotational and irrotational flows 1 2 and 3 dimensional flows in our syllabus first three flows that is study and unstudy uniform and non uniform laminar and turbulent flow in our syllabus this is not in our syllabus this is not in our syllabus compressible incompressible rotational rotational 
1, 2 and 3 dimensional flows are not in our syllabus. But we see compressible and incompressible rotational and irrotational flows along with above 3 that is steady, unsteady, uniform and non-uniform laminar and turbulent. Why? Because manum, uh, dynamics will take manku compressible, incompressible flows and ATV. Uh, uh, terms and ATV was soon line matter. What ni understanding choice call and te ekad manu itil ni edge call and dali. The ante a flows and te into mundi tils conte manu kakada easy ga adhma adhma utundi. First, steady flow. It is defined as the type of flow in which the fluid characteristics that is velocity, pressure, density, etc. at a point. That means we represent here the Eulerian form, Eulerian method. Okay, do not change with time. With respect to time, the fluid characteristic do not alter, do not change. So, in mathematically, velocity, dou V by dou T. With respect to time, the velocity is, cannot alter, that is, do not change. So, this is for Velocity. Velocity with respect to time at a point x0, y0, z0 is equals to 0. It represents the fluid characteristic of velocity do not change with respect to time at a point. It refers to. And the pressure with respect to time at a point x0, y0, z0 is equals to 0. It refers to did not change. And the density also. And unsteady flow, it is the type of flow in which the velocity, pressure or the density at point changes with respect to time. Time to path to fluid characteristics, velocity, pressure, density and it will change out i. The low unsteady flow low. Velocity with respect to time at a point x0, y0, z0 is not equal to 0, it refers to the velocity with respect to time is changing and the pressure also dou p by dou t at a point x0, y0, z0 is not equals to 0. That means the pressure with respect to time at a point x0, y0, z0 is changing and the density also. I hope it is clear and the next one is uniform flow. It is defined as the type of flow in which the velocity at any given time, so here at any given time means the time is constant, does not change with respect to space. That space refers to length of direction of a flow. Let's say this is the flow, this is the direction of a flow, we consider the length the direction this is the direction this is the length direction we consider in that direction the velocity did not change that means it did not alter that is called as uniform flow in non-uniform flow the velocity at a given time changed with respect to space i hope it is also clear the next type is laminar flow it is defined as type of flow in which the fluid particles move along well-defined paths or streamline. All streamlines are straight. That means all streamlines are straight enough. Straight. And those are all parallel to each other. These particles move in laminars. Laminar flow, how it gets means the particle moving laminas. Laminas means layers gliding smoothly over the adjacent layer. Vakadani meda vakati smooth ga move out and die in mata. Kabati daniki laminar flow and name ochindi. This is also called as laminar flow, is also called as streamline flow or viscous flow. This is also called as streamline flow or viscous flow and go on top. The next one is turbulent flow. It is defined as a type of flow 
in which the fluid particles move zigzag that means they did not follow a straight line avi straight ga vellu they follows a zigzag way vanka tinkara ga velta anamata they disperse like this the flow like this they did not follow this ee vidhanga paavu ee vidhanga veltai vaadiki ishtam ochina vidhanga avi move avtai so the particles move in zigzag way so that it name as turbulent flow due to movement of fluid particles in a zigzag way the eddy formation takes place eddy means let's say this is a movement of flow some water is getting reversed and form some circle currents reverse currents are formed this is called eddies due to eddies energy loss will take place high energy loss will takes place this eddy formation is also called as event reverse current formation okay it is clear i hope next based on a non dimensional number we can classify the laminar flow and the turbulent flow that non dimensional number is called as reynolds number reynolds number r e is equals to rho v d by mu v d by nu r e in simple way okay d is the diameter of pipe v is the mean velocity of the pipe and the kinematic viscosity is nu what is meant by mean velocity i clear this doubt this laminar flow is considered for mostly in pipe flows this is pipe this is pipe the flow the velocity this is the flow the velocity at the middle of the pipe is more when compared to the edges why because here some resistance will be there some viscosity will be there so the velocity when compared to the edges of the pipe the maximum is more so we consider the mean is equals to v at middle of the pipe plus at the edges divided by 2 this is the mean velocity we consider mean velocity in reynolds form reynolds number if the reynolds number is less than 2000 it is called as laminar flow it is greater than 4000 it is called as turbulent flow it is between 2000 to 4000 it is called as transitional flow or whether it is laminar or turbulent it is a transition in between laminar and turbulent so it is called as transitional flow the next one is here our syllabus is over it is the extra part we know compressible flow and incompressible flow for the dynamics part dynamics lo ee terminology vastundi kabatti avu ardham kavali kabatti manam ikkada ee definitions ni kuda chuddam compressible flow compressible flow ante enti it is the type of flow it is the type of flow in which the density of the fluid changes from point to point density is changing density is not constant density is changing that is called as compressible flow if the density is constant that is called as incompressible flow liquids like water oil petrol kerosene are comes under incompressible flows and the gases like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen etc are comes under compressible flows okay the next one is rotational flow and irrotational flow rotational flow 
is nothing but the type of flow in which the fluid particles flowing along streamline that means well defined lines they follow the laminar flow they they flow the like streamlines and the particles the fluid particles rotate about their own axis it is called rotational flow it is not rotate about its own axis that is called as irrotational flow okay they follow the the fluids are flowing along stream line that means they are like laminar flow in that the fluid particles rotate about their own axis it is called as rotational flow do not rotate about its own axis that is called as irrotational flow i hope this class is useful for you if you like the class please share to your friends in the next class we see the dynamics part of the fluids thank you